Hi, my name is Eric Espinosa, and I'm the founder of Fresh Stamp Inc. And our goal is to mitigate inventory shrink. So talking with local grocery stores, they have a big problem with expiring food on their shelves. They throw away about $141,000 of product annually. And they have a big issue with trying to discover these items on, on their shelves before they expire without spending a lot of labor costs. And so in the US, uh, their grocery industry is a $626 billion industry. But really, it's the mid-sized retailers that feel this pain the most because they don't turn their product quite as quick. And they have a $3.8 billion shrink cost due to expiring goods. So if this was such a big problem, you'd think that there'd be competitors in the space. And you'd be right. Uh, but the only competitors that have some type of automation in discovering items before they expire are Date Check Pro and Wasteless. Now, Wasteless is an RFID tag solution, and stores don't like it because they have to manually tag each item. Date Check Pro is a good solution. They are an iPad app that automates the rotations for spot checking. It gamifies it for the employees. But they can only save you $30,000 for the product at a cost of $15,000. So we're at the top of uh, this graph where we're inexpensive and we're automated. So our solution is patent pending. It's the fresh stamp. It's an expiration date barcode add-on. So when a manufacturer stamps on the expiration date, they're also going to stamp that on in the barcode format. So to make this possible, we had to create an expiration date barcode standard. Because right now, there is no current standalone barcode standard. On that, we have a copyright. And with that, we can help inventory systems managed badges. So here's a simple inventory ledger on uh, Tillamook cheese. A store will know there's 39 items, but we can give them information on how many expire in this month and how many expire in next month. And with this, they can track their inventory every time they get scanned out. And when they have seven days before expiration, we can warn them that 15 products are about to expire. So with this, they can take a simple shelf tag that says 50% off, and they can discount that batch while still maintaining a high margin on the batch that's still good for another month. And then also, two days within expiration, their inventory system can now alert them to donate these items so they can get a tax write-off. So I took the solution to Peter Larkin, and he's the president of the National Grocers Association. He really liked the idea, and he said, hey, I'll introduce you to anybody you would like. Let's get this into stories. And he's over 21,000 independent stores in his trade group. So he's a really big player. In addition, Gary Hawkins, who is the CEO for the Center of Advancing Retail Technology, he really likes the solution, and he wants to make introductions to manufacturers and stores for me. And he's really important because he actually rates 5,000 of the te technologies for retailers, and he tells them, uh, the industry, if they should adopt it or not. So right now we're trying to go to market with Associated Food Stores and to go to their 43 uh, corporate stores, and there are 396 independent retailers. So 63% of products need the fresh stamp. And we're going to start, though, with the meat, bakery, and deli items that are packaged in-store, because the in-store brands, the Associated Food Stores has control over, and they can change that labeling quite simply. So two weeks ago, I met with Wade Judd, the CIO, and we had our, our first discussion about this and he invited three of his top tech uh, team in to, to hear the pitch. It went really well, and at the end of it, they decided this is something that they want to pursue further, and right now would be the perfect time to implement this, because they're redoing their inventory system with all 439 stores. So it's the perfect time to implement this batch uh, expiration date system. Um, after that, I was given some access to current financial information on their inventory shrink to see how much we'd actually be saving them, and I was able to tour one of their stores uh, and see the, the labeling process in action. The next step is they're going to take this to the retail group and get approval, and we'll go from there. And I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. So I asked Gary, uh, I said, what happens if they say no? Um, am I just sunk? And he said, if they say no, that's fine. Just give me a call. I'll make a couple phone calls, and we'll get you some stories. Uh, he's very connected in the industry, and so it's a, a great advisor to have. Um, Peter Larkin wants to introduce me now to the president of GS1, and they're the global standard setter for barcodes. And he thinks that we can become a solution partner so that uh, they give us a stamp of approval, we're adopted as the global standard, and then they share in the profit revenues. So I'm the only founder, 100% owner, but I do have a software developer on independent contract. And then we're looking to um, partner with two talented 
uh, point of sale software developers. Um, so our revenue model is to charge $250 per SKU annually to manufacturers, and that's a similar price range of GS1. And our adoption rate is based off of similar product changes in the market, and so we expect to be at $108 million of recurring revenue in five years. We're asking for $520,000 at 20%, and we're gonna use this for software development, marketing, and IP protection. Now, if we win, everyone wins. Stores win, the customer wins, and charities win. So if we get the audience favorite, then we also wanna help you guys win. So the Utah Food Bank will donate $1,000 to them to help feed Utah's families. We're gonna purchase $1,000 worth of gift cards at local grocery stores and give those away to 100 students in this crowd. So vote for the Fresh Stamp. Thank you. I especially like your idea for uh, the uh, student, student Choice Award. That was, that was very smart. I have a question about process and about the barcodes. Right. Currently, what is the practice? Who is applying those barcodes? Is that done in store by right. a dedicated employee, or how's that happening? Yeah, so let's go to a slide here one second. Oh, I guess they took it out. Okay, um, so currently how it happens for the in-store products is that they have a machine that will label it. Uh, Hobart is a machine for the meat, so they use Long Pine for just their, their normal labels. So we would uh, just put in the, the code now to print it on their labels. For their, the manufacturer brands that come into through their wholesaler then to the retailer, um, they're doing the labeling on their packaging. They have usually a giant spool of this packaging that's made up a couple months prior. They put it through their inkjet jet printer machine, which will then stamp on the expiration date. So at that point, they're just gonna change their, their JPEG file to also print the fresh stamp. Can you, can you tell me what stores you're in right now? Because we spend about $1,000 a year on cheese. <laughs> and we can save. Are you in stores right now? So we're not in stores right now. We actually have been working on this idea for about a month. Okay. Uh, and we okay. are in early discussions with Associated Food Stores. Cool. Love the model, love how everybody wins, especially the, the consumer and the store and the dollars that are saved. But you have, you have great introductions to the market and great connections. Um, are, do you have any concerns, though, about execution and, and actually going to market? Um, so I think that partnering with these people are, is, is the biggest um, barrier to entry and also is my biggest protection. Um, I've been to two trade shows that have been world's largest trade show for independent grocers and then for retail technology. And I have about 50 CEOs who have given me their business cards that I want to help you in any way you can. Let's get this into market. So I think that really it, it kind of takes somebody who's innocent to actually make partnerships with all these people and uh, to, to partner, then that's what's gonna have to, to happen to get into the market. So uh, the only issue I, I see happening is um, if nobody wants to, to implement it and, and penetrate. So. Great job. Good luck. Thank you.